Hey guys, Fico here. What you're looking at is uh, the Archer. It just came out this morning. Uh, what it is is a tank destroyer on a Valentine Valentine chassis, kind of like the Valentine ET, but the gun is mounted backwards. In the video description below, I will post a little bit of history about it, but as you can see, if you're familiar with your British tank destroyers, especially the Valentine, if you look at the engine deck, you're looking at it right now. This is the front of the tank. So, <laughs> instead of bringing the Archer into the game, which is what I was thinking about when I read in the forums, they just called it the Angry Connor and put it at Tier 5. It's, uh, it's something else. I mean, it, I've got it up to 40 kph backwards and only about 15 forwards, and that's on the flat. Um, you have to drive it backwards to get anywhere you want to go, and then it turns fast enough. Uh, but then to do the business, the pen is okay, the armor is horrible. And as you can see here, not much of a hit point pull, but the armor itself, 20 millimeters front sides and rear, you can't brawl with this tank. Um, and with the German lights, forget it. Uh, the, the traverse is good if you can get a couple hits off, but uh, a leopard will take you out in almost in one whole magazine drum. It's pretty fast going backwards. So ignore the 12 kph speed limit. Um, drive it backwards when you need to get somewhere and then turn it around. The damage in pen is pretty good for a tank destroyer, but um, yeah, it's uh, I'm gonna call it a novelty and call it as it is. I've haven't had much luck with this. I've tried to camp like a tank destroyer and snipe, but the soft stats with the camo rating are uh, it, I don't think it has good camo rating to be honest, but it does go pretty decently fast backwards um, and that's really all this has going for it um, even with some of the sloped armor it's just 20 millimeters with that kind of slope isn't going to do anything so my recommendation get a fire a fire extinguisher uh, and don't get shot that's the only way I've tried camping I've tried flanking and at tier 5 you're gonna have to rely on competency of other players for you to be able to support them. If not, you're you're done. So I'll play two games live, um, and we'll go from there. And would you look at my luck? Um, tier seven match, and I'm in this. So I'm trying to look at the setup here, and I honestly don't think I stand a chance. So in order to get anywhere, like I said, you have to drive backwards. So. I'm going 30, 31 on the flat, and in order to get into the situation, you're going to have to come backwards and then inch forward, trying to watch your flanks, but in this tier 7 match, I probably am not going to be able to do well. So what I'm probably going to have to do here is watch my flank as that Stug tries to take me out. The KB-2 can one-shot him, I might be okay, but I'll be spotted any second now. And I'm about to block the KB-2. Alright, I'm pretty much done here. This map just ain't good for the Archer. But after you shoot, backing off does come in handy. It's fast enough to back off without taking a shot and return if you're good about it. Here it comes. I can't believe they're not focusing on me with my abysmal 20 millimeters of armor. I don't know why he's going to try to brawl with me with this 44 hit points. Not doing so good here. I don't know why I'm not penetrating him. I must have been hitting him in the gun every time. No 
look at me going forward as compared to backwards. Just 12. Nice and slow. I don't recommend you get the archer unless you're looking to collect. It's just not... It's not a tank that's intended to support. So now that we've taken care of this flank, driving backwards to try to get in there, I won't catch up, but it does go pretty decently fast backwards, doesn't it? Um, yeah. The only thing I did was donk a few shots at that Stuck, but it is what it is. Not too bad. I'll do one more just to showcase. I guess my frame rate wasn't too good either, but Himmelsdorf in that tank is, isn't isn't helpful. I mean, all you can do is support, and I didn't do that much for damage in the Stug. I must have been shooting him right in the gun. Ah, okay. So, as you can see there, in open maps, which are dying in this game, you really need to uh, find cover and use bush mechanics properly and don't get spotted, because the, the Camo rating on the soft stats, like I said, is awful. One more. I realized when I was fighting that Stug, maybe I should have just used first person aim and not, uh, not have used APCR, but it's morning and I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm just going to drive backwards while this KV-1 stares at me. Um, and try to go up to the bush up here, there maybe, and see if I can get some spots. If another tank or two come up here, and it doesn't look like that's going to happen, I was going to say I could support a little easier, but there's really nowhere else for me to go. But if I can use the bush mechanics properly, I can get some sneaky shots in up here. That leopard sneaks around the corner. Or the Panzer IV behind the building. I don't think I'm as effective up here as I need to be. But that Electo, if he peeks around the corner and I'm spotted, hopefully I don't get sniped from way over at the windmill. I'm going to peek up into the cave. Get away from that mess down there. Oh, hey. That's where backwards comes in handy, doesn't it? Uh, never mind. Not doing so well. <laughs> but this tank you really have to get used to, and I think it's a uh, new, new tank syndrome, and I'm just not as effective as I should be. Yeah, there's nothing I can do up here. I'm ineffective. I'm not doing anything for my team. I really need to get down there and reset that cap. Okay. Nice. No, nothing. But I can snipe that KV-1. I'm fast enough to maybe get down there and reset the cap, but I'll have taken damage in the process, likely. I don't want to pop adrenaline just yet. Hit him. Okay, one more for good measure. There we go. Well, at least I got one out of it. I'm gonna turn around and try to get down there and do some business. That Electo might be my first, but he'll be able to take me out in two easy shots. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling this is not going to bode well. Here we go. If that KV-1 can manage to put some fire into that Panzer IV. Yeah. See, it, it, the problem is, at Tier 5, you have to rely on competency of your team. It's not just you, see? We went up to the cave and camped. So, 
yeah, sure, I'm a great player, but with this tank, you really have to rely on everybody else. Um, and that's hard to do with low tiers. Especially with noob KV-1 drivers that are going sideways on <laughs> to other... Is it the stock gun? I don't think so. Watch this, watch this Electo. Good job. He really covered that mid ridge. He did pretty good. And the KV-1's just gonna run away, not turn around. The cap's not even going off. I mean, yeah, sure, but right now would be the time for him to turn around. He's gonna get shot in the ass by that Electo. Oh my god. Yeah, don't angle or anything. <laughs> there you go. Angle, angle. Oh my god. Yeah, he's not gonna learn. But I have a feeling this flank, if they were smart. There you go. Like I said, all you really have to do is drive the archer backwards and enjoy it. It's a novelty in the uh, NA server. It's 11.99 in the gift shop, so it's entirely up to you. Uh, if you just want to have it to collect it, but it makes some decent credits when you have decent games. But it's just not not a money maker like the IS6 or the oh backup backup. Or the uh, IS-3 Defender, this this will create marginal credits. But when you have to rely on people that don't watch tutorials and don't play the game as much, you're not going to have success with it. So I'm not trying to sound nihilist or anything, but it's a novelty toy tank like that abysmal Tankenstein. So get it, don't get it, it's all good. Um, I've only seen about four other players with it. I mean, it's relatively new, and it's still morning on the East Coast for the United States, so... If you want a tank destroyer that's a little bit funny, and you'll have players telling you you're driving the wrong way, <laughs> get it. Um, but just remember, it's slow as hell going forwards, and the armor is awful. Keep that in mind, and if you... Are a better tank destroyer than a uh, player than I am, get it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you out there.